Hi guys, thank you for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris. Welcome. In this video, we are going to be diving into the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea High Ties and Good Vibes palette, aka the Turtle palette. Before we begin, if you want to, you can click the subscribe button and the bell button so you know when I come up with more videos. So here's the packaging, you guys. Very beautiful. It has the ocean, has the, has the little turtle right there, has Rainforest of the Sea, High Ties, Good Vibes, all the good stuff. In the back, it has a little bit of information. It shows the palette and how it looks. This palette does contain talc and mica, so good for you to know in case you're allergic to that. It is cruelty-free and it has a shelf life of 12 months. This palette costs $39 on the Tarte website. In terms of weight, you guys, they broke this down in a very interesting way. In the back of the box, you can see the palette, right? In the center of the palette are glitter pressed shadows. Then you have some mattes and some shimmers. So the way they broke down the weight was they put the matte and the shimmers, the weights of them, and the weight of the glitters. When you do the math, you multiply it, add it all together, the weight comes out to 18.84. Round it up to about 19 grams for 12 shadows. Across the top, by the way, they do show the shadows that are inside, which reminds me of the Mermaid palette. This is the Mermaid one, and yes, I did keep the box, but on top, they did the similar thing. This was the palette, very beautiful, very luxurious. So I do like that they kept within that kind of theme in terms of packaging. Now here is the palette, you guys. This packaging is amazing. Tarte brings really incredible packaging, you guys. You feel like you're holding a very high-end, luxurious item. And for $39, the packaging is phenomenal. Inside, they have this blue liquid, and when you turn it, and even when you shake it and all that good stuff, you actually see the little bubbles. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it goes. See the bubbles? It moves. It's really, really cute. I absolutely adore this packaging. Very creative, very fun, and I like totals. On the back of this is pretty much plain. It has information in terms of like the weight and things like that. Shelf life, but nothing too crazy. It does come with a very large mirror. And then here, of course, is the color story, the shadows inside. I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see. Ah, there you go. So of course, this is gold and is very reflective, especially off of the lights. So this is the best way I can show you guys. Let me bring it up close, actually, so you can see. Now I want to talk about the formula really quick. The mattes and the shimmers in this palette blend so easily, so beautifully. I mean, honestly, it didn't take me long to blend anything out. So that is a big, big plus. They do feel really smooth and buttery. So again, a huge plus. And of course, the payoff is there. And lastly, this palette smells so good. It smells like the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. Oh, love it. So the colors right here in the middle are glitter press shadows. Then we have one, two, three, and four shimmers. Then one, two, three, and four mattes. And honestly, the color story is what really drew me into this palette. It wasn't just the cute little packaging, although I am a sucker for really cute packaging, as most of you guys know. I mean, most of the stuff back there is because of cute packaging. I'm a sucker for that. And the names, of course, have to do, of course, with the beach theme. For example, we have South Beach. Beach Days, Deep Blue, Turtlet Dive In, Aquaholic, really fun names. Now one thing I will say you guys is that this is a heavy palette. If you're not into heavy palettes, then I would not suggest getting this because it is a heavy palette. I don't mind heavy palettes because I don't usually hold them in my hand like that. I do my makeup at home most of the time so I'll just put it down and I could just do my makeup there. But if you're one to carry your makeup and you're not a fan of that, then just know that ahead of time, okay? Let's do some swatches. Let's take Deep Blue. Let's take, this is called Surf's Up, and let's take, ooh, let's take the silver, so pretty. Now again, this is a pressed glitter, so it would look so much better with an adhesive when you swatch it, but it's still really pretty, you guys, I promise, promise, okay? So here you go, let's put this here, one, two. And then three. Woo! My goodness. It was a lot. And there's still so much more on my fingers. But here we go. Oh my god. Like they are just so beautiful. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you the rest of the swatches. So now 
now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I got this eye look. I didn't use any glitter glue whatsoever. I know that you really should use glitter glue whenever you're dealing with glitter. I do have glitter all over my eyes. The only thing on my eyes is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Not on purpose because it's a Tarte palette. I always do that. Literally always do that. I use four brushes, two from the crayon case, one from BH Cosmetics, and one from Bad Habit. I also use a clean sweep for when I want to use the same brush for a different color. Okay, let's dive right into this eye demo. Dive. Huh? Yeah. Okay. guys well this is the look that I created once again I didn't use any glitter glue adhesive which of course you really should use whenever working with glitter whenever I'm super lazy I just put it on and I just pat it in my finger and that's it but honestly you guys it's such a beautiful palette it feels so luxurious to have it's definitely a keeper it's gonna be a part of my staple collection for a long time let me know what you guys think of the tarte high ties and good vibes palettes aka the turtle palette and we could talk back and forth and of course i will see you guys on the next one okay bye <laughs>